So here it is, not even 7 o'clock in the morning. I was just about to go to bed. I went outside, fed the babies. Everyone is there, except actually I don't think Midna's there right now. For people wondering, yes, I have a cat named Midna. I have a cat named Midna. I have a cat named Zelda. I have a cat named Roxas. Um, Kira, you know, the god of the new world. Uh, there's Dazzle. There's Yukina. <laughs> Just because I like saying her name in Kuwabara's voice. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah. Ventus. My sweet little Ventus. And uh, yeah, so I was, I was outside feeding them and everyone's out there except for Midna. And uh, I come back in, get ready to shut down and I see this. And I'm like, huh. Well, doesn't that just tickle your pickle? Well, I suppose it tickles my pickle just right. Well, I suppose. I suppose a nice tickle pickling is what we all need. Cyberpunk and the Witcher Studio CD Projekt Red expands playtesting programs to the U.S., but only for applicants who fit the right gamer profile. If that sounds what it, you think it is, yeah, you're pretty much right. They're looking for people to uh, their asses. In expanding the development attentions to outside of their native Poland, CD Projekt Red has announced that they are opening the doors for U.S. players to join their res uh, resident playtesting program. In doing so, allowing them to be among the first to try their future titles. Oh boy! <clears throat> Titled the Red Playtesting Program, the initiative offers fans of the studio the chance to play and provide feedback in their in-development titles well before they hit the market. And since we know how this company is, we know how this company is, you know exactly what kind of people they want. Previously on Dragon Ball Z. Now, previously only open to players in Poland. The program is now accepting applicants of the United States with their main criteria to apply that uh, being that they given a that the given individual be at least 16 years old, live in or be around, uh, live in or be willing to travel to Boston. A six. I don't think a 16 year old will find it easy to just travel to Boston if they're not there. I mean. No. So for the people who are 16 year olds who are signing up, it's like, do you even have a way to get to Boston if you're not there? Or are you just kind of like, oh, let's just see what happens. Uh, see if they even pick me. Um, Boston, Massachusetts for online uh, act on site activities. Have an active CDPR account and agree to sign any related legal documents in your blood. Further, and here's the criteria, uh, if you are at least 16 years old, Boston, Massachusetts, on-site, passionate about gaming, eager to share your insight, not involved in game development professionally, I mean, I mean, if they're 16 years old, I seriously doubt they are right now. Um, and while that seems simple enough, as one expects, there is one major caveat to players' eligibility, that their gamer profile needs to align with what CDPR is seeking. If your game profile aligns with what we're looking for, we'll reach out to you either through email or by phone to ask you about your upcoming availability. Since we know how this company is, you know exactly the kind of people they're looking for. That that small group of uh, group of people, that minority that these people are constantly pandering to, so that way they these people come out, test these games and whatever, and like, oh my god, this is amazing, and then when the game fails, they can say, oh, but we had people come here and test it, and they were all raving about it, nothing but positive reviews. So it's nothing but the haters, the misogynists, the phobes, the is the isms who are hating on this game. Don't think you're clever, big company. You're not. You're not. 
Um, all play tests will be scheduled at least a few days in advance. If uh, it should be noted that at current CDPR hasn't revealed the exact criteria they are looking for uh, in their pot potential players. That is clear that every though it is clear that everyone will qualify. However, given this lack of transparency, so this is part of what they said, but like actual. So, I mean, just that tells you everything you need to know. Uh, lack of transparency, as well as the studio's continued support of their women exclusive girls in the game mentor program, as well as CEO uh, Mikkel Nawakawa. Now, Nakazawa to do something. I don't know, whatever. I really don't care. Recent. I'm it, I'm too tired for this. I've been up for like 24 hours. I'm too tired for this. Uh, recent and confusing claims regarding their stance on DEI. Some fans have begun to fear that, in time, patterns will emerge regarding just who is selected to be a playtester. To this end, the playtesting process... Every time. Every freaking time i always get down to a certain point and it's like nope uh the play testing process doesn't end just just playing the game and providing feedback as the program is also designed to gather even more detailed information for players using advanced biometric equipment uh hooked up with your consent to both special equipment will check your pulse eye movement and other physical factors to assess how you react to various events you want to focus your eyes on etc as well as special software that will examine what you do on the test equipment eg where you click what buttons you press what you uh what options you select etc uh as to what titles players can expect to play uh should they be accepted cdpr has stacked a lineup coming down the pipeline in the foreseeable future one of the most anticipated title anticipated titles of the witcher 4 which will kick off a new trilogy in the series alongside then a spin-off codenamed Sirius and being developed for the Molasses Flood as well as updated remake, remake, remake of the first Witcher game. Oh boy, another remake. There's also the planned sequel to Cyberpunk 2077, though given how early it is in development, it may be a while for players, uh, playtesters can get their hands on it. Additionally, CDPR is working on a new standalone IP, which has been in development since 2021. For those eager to join the program, cross straightforward, telling blah, 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 blah. Well, so all they want is like, is boot like licking people that tell them how awesome they are and how correct their games are, right? Project Red is not for nothing on uh, Project Red is not for nothing on my blacklist. Imagine wanting to work for a DI company like CDPR. Yeah, even though they leave out uh, on this, um, the fact that they say that if they're the profile aligns, because it's a profile. So you're going to have the people with the pronouns and the, you know, and, and then the flags and this and that, if it's available to do on there and they're going to see that. It's like, oh, I want that person. So the more flags, the more pandering that that person is doing, the better chance they have of getting selected. Because again, I think it's just a way because they just don't want people to, to criticize their bullcrap. So they're going to have a bunch of people who align with them, who think just like them. You know, kids coming out, 16-year-olds or older, coming out and testing these games. And uh, they're going to be like, oh, my God, the diversity and everything so amazing. And then when the games are released and the numbers are terrible, they'll turn to the, the people who, uh, who came to play tests and they'll say, oh, but these people, they came and play tested the games themselves and they were all raving about it. They had nothing but positive things to say. And anyone who disagrees is just a far-right extremist. Again. You think you're, you're thinking you're clever by doing this. But we're able to see right through it. We, we can see right through it. So.
it's 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 a little ridiculous that they're just looking for certain people uh because if it was really a legitimate just play testing they would just accept any gamer but you notice that it says about um if your gamer profile aligns with what we're looking for so you can have like a bunch of their games like oh i love this game this game this game but if you don't you know believe in the same stuff they do they're not going to pick you they're not going to pick you so it's a desperate new maneuver and people are going to see right through it but anyway anyway that's going to do it for me you guys know the drill i'll see you guys later bye guys